Hi and welcome back, it's Vicky here and today I'm going to create three birthday cards showcasing products from the latest release by my favorite things. Now birthday cards are, along with thank you cards, are the ones that I use the most, so I'm always uh, in need of them. Today I'm going to start by with my first card by using these two stencils that come in a set. These are the confetti stencil set and they are sized perfectly for an A2 card. Now I'm going to do some blending, for that I will be using my brass blending tools there and a couple of uh, Distress Oxide ink pads. Over my first stencil I used mustard seed and now I'm going to switch to the second stencil and now I'm using worn lipstick. And I will stick with those two colors throughout the card, so I will use those uh, oxide inks to color all the elements on top of it. Now, I absolutely love how this looks, and remember that you can uh, switch them upside down, so you will end up having four different patterns for your confetti. Now I wanted to have more concentrated color on one of the edges of my panel, so I'm just brushing in both of those colors. And this is going to be the background for my card. Now I'm going to use these uh, dies, these are the Birthday Cake Dynamics set. It comes with all those dies that you can put together to create a really lovely birthday cake. And of course you can mix and match all these pieces with different colors and you can make it as tall as you want to. I will cut out all the pieces from the set and I'm using white cardstock for that. Of course you can use patterned paper or even colored cardstock. I went with the easiest way for me, at least, so I'm just uh, going to color them now with my Distress Oxide inks. Again, I'm going to switch in between those two colors, and I will not introduce any third color on this card. And now that I have all the pieces ready, it's just a matter of putting everything together, one on top of the other. I'm using my Nouveau Deluxe glue to stick everything down. And as I'm putting these uh, things together, I like to let you know that there is a great sale on the My Favorite Things website. They have 50% off on all their dies, so if you are a fan, make sure to check it out. You will find all the links that you need down below in the description area, as well as on my blog. Now for the yellow piece that I have there with all those little holes, I have kept those little uh, dots and I'm going to stick them inside so I will end up having a lovely decoration for each and every of the tiers on this uh, uh, cake. I'm going to stick this panel with foam tape at the back on top of a standard card and I'm going to finish it off by adding some uh, uh, Nouveau clear drops on the flames. Now all I need to do is to add a sentiment and for that I'm going to use this banner. This comes from the Tag Builder Blueprints Dynamics. It comes with this tag as well as a little circle that you can mix and match them together to create tags. But uh, I absolutely love this um, banner because uh, it even has some score lines that you can fold to create a real dimensional banner. So I'm going to stamp my sentiment on top and the sentiment comes from another new stamp set which is perfect for birthdays. It has lovely adorable images like uh, raccoons and a bunny, a fox and a bear and uh, balloons and little gifts. And I went with uh, the sentiment that says make a wish or two. Now when I placed it on my misty door, I made sure that it followed the curve of the banner. So I'm going to stamp it with black ink. And now I'm going to fold the edges exactly where those score lines are. And I like to use my bone folder for that, so that all the edges are nice and crisp. And you will see that this looks uh, dimensional. I'm also going to add a piece of fo foam tape at the center of this banner and just stick it on my card over those candles. I absolutely love this banner and I know that I will be using it a lot. So that's uh, the first card for today and here are some close-up photos. Now for the next card I'm just preparing my uh, background here, so I'm going to cut out of blue this panel and I'm also going to cut out a cloud. I'm using old dies here that I have in my stash from probably a couple of years ago and uh, I'm going to make sure to link them down below. 
Now for my focal point I'm going to do some stamping using a new stamp set which is absolutely adorable. It's called It's a Mice Time to Celebrate. It comes with uh, four different uh, cute designs of uh, mice coming out of a box or jumping up and down. Uh, they are super adorable. I'm going to use one of them here as well as a gift that is uh, flying with a balloon. Now I'm going to do some coloring and since I'm sharing lots of cards today I'm not going to let you see uh, how I did the coloring however I did use my pencils these are Prismacolor pencils and then I cut out everything with the matching dies and I colored only the top part of the mouse since I'm not going to use the bottom so I'm just going to chop off a part of the bottom since I don't want that gift to show. I'm actually planning to pop that mouse coming behind the cloud. So now it's time to put everything together. Before I do that and it gets quite bulky, I'm going to stamp the sentiment. I went with a sentiment that says it's time to put on your party hat. And it comes from the same stamp set as the mouse. And now it's time to put everything together. I'm going to stick the mouse behind that cloud and I used foam tape at the back of the mouse as well as at the back of uh, the cloud so everything is uh, popped up a little bit since I always like dimension on my cards. And I'm doing the same for the balloon. So my main panel is ready. All I need to do is to stick it down on a four and a quarter by five and a half card. And here are some close-up photos of the card. And let's move on to the third card for uh, today. I am creating a background. This is going to be my sky. And for that I'm using Distress Oxide ink. And with my blending brush I'm going to apply some ink through that stencil. Now this is uh, the large cloud stencil that has been released a while ago and I absolutely love it. I use it again and again for this type of backgrounds. Since I want uh, my sky to be very subtle I went with tabled glass but you can go even darker if you want to. Now to complete my background scene I also used a die that cuts out a very thin strip of grass which I'm going to stick at the very bottom of this panel. And here is a close-up look on uh, my background so you can see the lovely detail on the clouds. Now for my focal point I'm going to use another new stamp set and this is called uh, Birth Yay. And I think this design is absolutely cute with all those animals one on top of the other. And in the stamp set you will get the images of these animals separately as well so you can build up your own tower of animals. It's the perfect stamp set for uh, cute uh, birthday cards as well as for friendship cards. Now I'm going to use again my uh, Prismacolor pencils to color everything and use the matching die to cut it out. I added foam tape at the back and I'm going to stick it down. And now all that's left to do is to stamp a sentiment and for that I went with one that says another year taller. I'm going to stamp that with black ink. And I'm doing the stamping with a stamping block because uh, it is already too bulky to stamp with my Misty. But everything went fine. And now all I have to do is to just stick that on a um, strip pattern paper so that I end up having uh, two borders on each side. And then just stick that on top of a standard card. And here are some close-up photos. So these were the cards for today, I hope you had fun that you got inspired, don't forget that there is a discount for today only, make sure to visit my blog to find all about it. Thank you all so much for watching today and I'll see you all tomorrow with a fun blog hop.